In the global race to build the next generation of AI semiconductors, Samsung Electronics is making a bold move, turning its Bengaluru Research Center into a world-class AI chip design hub. As per reports from a Korean media outlet, Mail Business Newspaper, the company is going on a massive hiring push with the newly appointed leader. Meet Rajesh Krishna, a Samsung veteran with decades in memory tech, now at the helm of Samsung Semiconductor India Research, SSIR. His appointment sends a clear message. This isn't just about an offshore office. It's actually becoming a core innovation engine for Samsung's global semiconductor business. Samsung is now hiring across 16 critical engineering roles, from SOC designers and memory architects to SSD firmware experts and graphics driver developers. Basically, these are roles that are at heart of what makes AI chips fast, efficient and powerful. The goal is this, to design chips that can handle AI workloads, high performance computing and next gen data demands, all from India. What makes SSIR unique? Well, it's one of the only Samsung sites in the world that works across all three of its semiconductor pillars. Memory, like HBM for AI servers. System LSI, custom chips for devices. Foundry, making chips for others, including AI accelerators. Now, with more talent and clearer mission, it's being upgraded from a research outpost to, well, a global design headquarters. This move isn't just happening in a vacuum. India's government is pushing hard with its semiconductor program with a whopping budget of 65,000 crore rupees. It has intensified its focus on indigenous chip design, research and development centers, global collaborations, and of course, a lot more. And we've of course covered all of this extensively on front page. Currently, Samsung already employs thousands of engineers in its centers in Bengaluru and Noida. Besides Samsung, global chip slash design players like IBM, ISDL, ARM, AMD, NVIDIA also have design slash research and develop, development presence in India. Last month, Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav inaugurated ARM's new Bengaluru office, stating that this center will design advanced chips including two nanometer nodes and if you remember, AI isn't just about software. It runs on specialized hardware. And whoever designs the best chips, well, gains a massive edge. By anchoring advanced research and development in India, Samsung isn't just cutting costs. It's actually tapping into world-class engineering talent to compete head-to-head -head with NVIDIA, AMD, and even its own foundry clients. This is more than actually just a hiring spree, that's quite clear. It's a geopolitical and technological pivot, one that could reshape how and where the chips powering tomorrow's AI are built. Finally, this is our take. For Samsung, the message is clear. The future of AI runs through Bengaluru. Samsung's strategic investment in Bengaluru underscores India's growing prominence as a hub for advanced semiconductor research and also contributes to India's technological self-reliance and innovation ecosystem.